Okay, this is example three from section 12.9 and very uh, similar example to example two, just a different integrand. So I would encourage you to try this uh, prior to looking at this video and watching me do it. Um, but uh, if you want, you can pause and do that. Otherwise, you can follow along. We're going to do the same type of thing that we did um, in the last example where we're, we're really stuck in terms of our antiderivative. It's really difficult to antiderive how it's written as it is with x's and y's. So uh, this time what we're going to do is we're going to assign u uh, x plus y and v x minus y. And certainly you could choose a different order there. Um, and then from here, we're going to come up with equations for x and y. Again, real similar to what we did before. So with this one, we have y equals uh, x minus v. And we're going to use that in the um, in the in the first equation for u. So we have u equals uh, x plus x minus v. And then we'll just simplify that uh, and get u equal to 2x minus v. And then uh, again, we're going to solve for x. So x will equal 1 half u plus 1 half v. Again, really similar to the other one. Uh, that's one equation that we need. We also need the other equation. So we're going to take um, this first one, uh, u equal to x plus y, and we're going to solve that one uh, for x. So we have uh, x equal to um, u minus y, and then we'll plug that into this second equation. Uh, so we have uh, v equal to u minus y minus y, or v equal to u minus 2y. Uh, and then again, we're going to solve this for y. So we get y equal to 1 half u minus 1 half v. So there's our other equation. All right, so then what we're going to do is calculate the Jacobian. And we have our formula. We've been working on this formula. Uh, and so we're just going to go ahead and jump right to it. So we have our matrix here, uh, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half and negative 1 half, and really similar to the other uh, example, our last example, we will get negative 1 half. Okay, so then our third or our uh, second step here is that we're going to um, set up our new integral. So we start with this original integral, and that's in terms of x and y, and we're going to transfer that into uh, using change of variables in Jacobian. The integral, double integral over s of e to the uh, u divided by v multiplied by the absolute value of the Jacobian. And uh, similar to the last example, we're going to integrate uh, in the order of du dv because that is much easier to handle. Okay, third step. One of the more difficult steps is to graph these regions. So uh, we're going to start with x and y. Actually, hold on here. We'll do this. So x and y. And we are told that it's a trapezoid, again, similar to the other one, uh, where we have 1, 0. So 1, 0, and 2, 0, and 0, negative 2, and 0, negative 1. So we have this trapezoidal region down here. And again, if we were to try to attempt this in terms of x and y, we'd be in some trouble. So we're going to convert this into the plane u and v. And our goal is to just transpose this. So we have f of xy, and we're putting this into a new function of u and v. So we have um, this, this vertical line, x equal to 0. We have this slanted line which is going to be y equal to x minus 1. This horizontal, y equals 0. And then another slant line, which is y equals x minus 2. So let's go ahead and start with, uh, let's just do x equal to 0. So if we have uh, our x from above, we have 1 half u plus 1 half v. And that's equal to 0. So that's going to be u equal to negative v. We have y equals x minus 1. So that gives us 1 half u minus 1 half v equal to 1 half u plus 1 half v. 
minus 1. And if we solve that, we get v equal to 1. Then we have y equals 0. So 1 half u minus 1 half v equal to 0. And that gives us u equal to v. And then our last one, y equal to x minus 2. So we have 1 half u minus 1 half v equals uh, 1 half u plus 1 half v minus 2. And that gives us v equal to 2. So you can see a lot of similarities to the last example here. Okay, we're going to graph all these things. So what we get is uh, u equal to v, u equal to negative v, and the two horizontal lines v equal to 2 and v equal to 1. So there you go. That's your trapezoidal region right there. Uh, again, um, the identical region we had before. And then uh, our last step here is that we're going to calculate this new double integral. Okay, and actually let me include the graph that we just found. So uh, when we're looking at our graph, um, well, first off, we have 1 half. And then we have the outer integral in terms of v. So the minimum v is 1. The maximum is 2. So 1 to 2. And then our, our inside integral, uh, again, similar to that last example, we got left function, uh, u equal negative v, and then right function, u equal to v. So the lower limit is negative v. The upper limit is positive v. Then we have e to the power of u divided by v. And we're going to do du dv. All right, so I'm going to pause this, write out the first step of the anti-differentiation. All right, so there we go. We got our, our first step. Um, and then what we'll do, e, e minus e to the negative 1 is just a number. So we're going to pull that all out to the front just to make it a little more straightforward. So we have that constant times the integral from 1 to 2 of v dv. And so that gives us uh, 1 half v squared from 1 to 2, which if you remember, that's equal to just 3 halves. So there we go. We have our answer 3 divided by 4 multiplied by the quantity e minus e to the negative first. And you can write that a variety of ways, but that's going to be your value.